Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Andrew Darling, and this is going to be five minutes or less of why I do not like the HTC One. It's this, my 22nd day with the phone. Uh, about two weeks of it, I use it as my primary, primary device. The last week or so, I've had it as my business device. The things I don't like, the two-button layout, it just doesn't make sense. It's not smart. It's not useful. Um, having three functions for one button, the home button, sounds good but it's just not practical um sense i don't like sense in that i don't like some of the quirks about sense i don't like the way the settings are set up um i like the way that uh touchwiz handles it i know that goes back to more you know gingerbread froyo layout stuff but i like that better sense has some quirks that i talked about in the other video um as far as backing out of a um, the apps menu, the apps drawer. Backing out of that, you have to either enter an app or press the home button. You can't use the back button. Uh, it it just it aggravates me. I'm not complaining about the build quality. It's a solid phone. It's not a remarkably horrible phone. I don't want people to think I'm completely bashing it. It doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna cover what's good about it as well, though. Uh, the build quality is still pretty awesome. The sound is pretty good. The camera's better than I expected, but the camera. I don't know if it's because of the ultra pixels and the way that they let in light or their ability to let in more light, but the camera washes out really fast if there's a, a new light source or a large light source um, nearby. It, it really, all, ca all cell phone cameras that I've had do it, but the HTC One seems to do it to another level. If you're, you're trying to take a picture of, say, a, a portrait of some, some people on a bench or something, but the sun is up here, you're washing out the whole the whole picture is being washed out so that bothers me I read something on uh, Google Plus on Kurt Kolbeck's page that I, I couldn't put it into words any better than he did um, Kurt has uh, getting close to 55,000 uh, people people have him circled um, he's a writer for Android Dissected and he's also the graphics designer for Team Kang he also has some uh, um, a stock ROM theme hyperdroid um, is also uh, something he does. He also does uh, Black Exodus and stuff like that. Um, he, he he's awesome, very intelligent, very knowledgeable. Um, this is what he said about the HTC One when he was comparing the HTC One Galaxy S4 and Nexus 4, trying to kind of ask people what their perfect device was the other day. He said it's too fragile, or I feel like it's too fragile. I've never put a case on any of the phones I've owned, and I never will. It makes phones feel bulky, and while it adds extra protection, I want to feel the best of the phone without a rubber case on it. Every time I hold the HTC One outside, I feel that I could drop it out of my hand at any second and scratch quite easily. I know that there's a very slim chance this would happen, but it could easily happen in some situations. I also don't like the power button placement on the device. Now, that is something I also agree with Kurt on, in that the power button being up top, I understand why it's there. It doubles as an IR blaster. I got it. Uh, I understand. It, I like having the power button on the side of the device. It's easier to reach. It doesn't make it impossible when it's on top, of course, but I, I just, I don't like it. I've been very disappointed uh, with the HTC One. It was going to be the phone I, I got when it first came out. It took a while to come to T-Mobile. I finally decided to break down and get it after looking at it for a while and knowing how long I actually wanted the device. Using it as my business line, there's an app, and this could be a Bank of America issue, not a... HTC or Sense issue. There's a merchant services app where you need um, to press a menu button to get into a certain portion of the app to add, you know, default who gets a receipt and whatnot. And there's just not a way to do it on the HTC One version. Um, there's no physical menu button and there's no on-screen menu button like that appears on the Nexus 4. So that was another problem. Overall, I just I don't like the device. Physically, it feels fine. There's no issues with it. The screen size is good. I don't like it. I, I don't. I can't recommend it to others. I'm sure there are people out there who love it. There are a bunch of people who, on Google Plus and other places, have said they love it. It's not a bad phone. I don't like it. I'll probably get beat up a little bit in the comments, but that's okay. Keep them civil. I'll try to answer uh, whatever I can. So again, this is Andrew Darling. This is going to be the last uh, video I do on the HTC One. HTC One, it's the last day. Sorry, HTC, I'm rooting for you, but it's the one, and I don't like it. Have a good one.